What's going on, YouTube? Welcome to my channel. My name is Wally. I really appreciate you coming through and showing the love. Make sure you hit that like button if you like what you saw. You understand? And if you consider, go ahead and subscribe. Right now, we're going to go into some Doug Stanhope. Where he's talking about 60 inches of AIDS. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go. Let's see what he's talking about right here. The National Football League participates with the pink gloves and just pink on the players. Where if you think football is stupid, you're right. <laughs> but it's my stupid. You have your stupid. You can judge me in sports. You do. You have your own stupid. You play World of Warcraft or you do Renaissance festivals. You fucking win <laughs> Brian Doyle Murray look like competitions. You fucking you do. You grow organic apples and sell them at the farmer's market. You know, learn how to speak Italian on the Rosetta Stone so one day you can impress your friends by ordering an Italian at a restaurant and the fucking waiter at Olive Garden looks at you going, I don't know what you're saying, dude. <laughs> Whatever you do, football is my stupid. That's what I do for a few hours on a weekend in the fall to forget how much I hate myself. I don't want to think about breast cancer while I'm watching football to get away away from this it's hard enough to watch football as it is if you're a fan without constantly thinking about aids you have to push that out of your head <laughs> inherently if you're a fan of the game with the with the technology that they have now you watch monday night football or super bowl they have cameras now that come down on cables right over the field like right over the players heads almost touching them you have 60 inches of high definition. You have a camera panning around 11 men bent up in a huddle, presenting these beautiful, thick man asses, and zooming in on each one. And it creates this Bangkok whorehouse scenario in your brain. You feel a little tuggle in your sweatpants. You're like, oh, what if they were behind glass in Phuket? Which one would I select for my evening's entertainment from the Cambodian guy that runs the place? And he's got an eye patch. And I go, Jing Dai, Boy Da! And he pulls the guy out. Number 28. I haven't even seen all the guys. And I impulse buy on 28. He's a, he's a halfback with these sinewy horse haunches leaning into me. And in my mind, before I can make a rational decision, I've already leaped over the railing at the field. I'm streaking butt naked across the field, wearing nothing but a... I'm wearing an 1800s nightcap that's a striped with a pom-pom. I don't know why that. But I'm wearing flip-flops because they make you run funnier. But my dick is slapping up and down against my belly. You make your dick however big you want it to be. It's your fantasy. Have your dick slap in your chest, have your dick take a tooth out on the way to the huddle, it doesn't matter. Just get to 28 and yank him out of the huddle and put, pin him to the ground, hold him down with one elbow, peel those, they wear these little lycra pants, they're so fucking gorgeous. And you just peel him off him, he's sweaty, they're just gonna slide off like a wet band-aid. I'm confused right now. I don't, I don't know if I can laugh at this because I don't know where he's going. Don't fuck with the jock strap. It's no obstacle to the asshole. You're wasting time. Plus, the little straps keep the ass cheek up and focused. Steam comes off his ass. Get your face in there. You huff that steam. Hey, yo. This gets a super pause. I don't, I don't know, man. What I got myself into right here. You huff it like a gassy rat. Inhale his essence. And you peel those ass cheeks apart with your thumbnails like, like you're cracking a cage-free farm fresh egg. And you take your dick. Don't stab him with it right away. Tease him with it. Here we go. In and up. Asshole to tailbone, people. Yo, how is this funny? How are these people like dying laughing? I don't even see humor in this right here. Oh man, my sense of humor went out the door with this joke. Asshole to tailbone. Watch him struggle. He knows it's gonna happen. He doesn't know when. Oh, 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 oh asshole to tailbone. Pull on 
his face mask a bit, twist his neck, pull on his dreadlocks. And these are not Occupy Wall Street dreadlocks, by the way. This is a black dude. This is straight up racism. This is a hate crime. Because, because you are pretty sure that your ex-wife used to fantasize about this guy doing similar shit to her. You know, like, oh yeah, you want to do that to my wife, you'll never get a thicker boner than that angry, racist, jealousy boner. Veins are coming out of the head and nothing makes you crazier than when you get that boner, you're just jamming at him like a fat salamander and you ride, you do that porn angle where you bend. Yo. Is this guy questionable? Cause yo, <laughs> this is not funny to me. Your dick down and do deep knee bends so you can look at the people. You have 55,000 people are now out of their chairs on their feet chanting for you. They love you. They're like, fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. This is his home field and they're on your side all of a sudden. Fuck that dude. Yeah, there's Bruh. here. You feel the rubber start to slide off of you, but you don't give a shit. This is my day. They love me. I'm gonna launch rainbows of cum into this broken motherfucker, and you do. You're not even done coming when you pull out. Your dick's just still fire hosing, swaying back and forth. Oh no, man. I am not digging this right here. Damn, boy. This is going to make me stop looking at his comedy shows. Getting rid of the last of the spurts, and, and you have an end zone celebration dance that you've worked out in the hallway mirror all season. Little old school icky shuffle thing. And you spike the ball right next to his head. He's blubbering like snot bubbles and crying. He's not even making an attempt to get up. His asshole is still dilated, He's spasming. His asshole is winking like a cyclops in a rainstorm. <laughs> trying to regain. How is this even funny? How? It's original shape. One milky tear is dripping down the tank. It's crying for you. perfect Sunday afternoon and this perfect daydream back into the stark reality of it's just you as some bloated post middle-aged dude with you got lumps of yellowed gummy cum and your gut hair and you look around you feel immediate remorse and shame I I let the rubber come off inside of that guy irresponsible is that knowing what we know today to just bareback fuck a guy I don't know where that guy's been I know where he's going he's going into free agency he's fucking 32 now he's got shit knees he's lucky if he's warming a bench in Jacksonville but I don't know where he's been to just bareback fuck the dude I could have fantasy aids as we speak <laughs> And I'm going to do it again. <laughs> and as you're dealing with this, you want to escape. You look at the TV, pink shoes. I have to think about breast cancer <laughs> on top of this problem. You're ruining the integrity of the game, <laughs> breast cancer. This is what we do on Sundays to forget how much we hate ourselves. I don't know, man. This one was a yo super to the pause. This is crazy, man. I don't know, my man, Doug. I think it's going to be the last one. Sheesh. All right, man. I'll see you on the next one. Pardon on this video right here. This is not my cup of tea.